Hey everybody, I'm Patrick and this is Rocky Mountain Style. Welcome back, and if this is your first time, welcome. Today we are going to discuss what I'm wearing right here, which is the Taylor Stitch Line Shop Shirt in a color and fabric called Coal Boss Duck. So Boss Duck, of course, is a uh, version of canvas, uh, uses four different materials, and uh, ends up feeling actually pretty tough and pretty good. Uh, with a name like Boss Duck, I figure uh, it better Better look pretty good, right? So uh, today's just going to be a quick look. So uh, after the intro, we're going to get into uh, a few of the specs on the website, talk about sizing and pricing. I'm going to show you a little bit of the close-up detail of the fabric, the interior, and then we're going to finish, uh, as always, with a fit video, show you how it fits on my, uh, my size body, and then uh, we'll end. So if you're interested in seeing more about this, stick around. Thanks. The lined shop shirt in Cole Boss Duck. All right, 218 bucks for a uh, shop shirt. And the reason why it's a lined shop shirt is because it doesn't have any pockets. So this is not technically a jacket. They're calling it a lined shirt. However, it has the feel and the heft of a jacket and, and even closer to a coat, I would say. This is not a light jacket. This is, is fairly substantial. And you can see that by the, uh, the 12-ounce canvas, which uh, is made out of four different... Uh, fibers, which I think is kind of interesting. More than 50% hemp, uh, 54, 30% recycled poly, 14% organic cotton, 2% excuse me, spandex. Uh, in my wares, I can't really feel any stretch. So the spandex um, is probably there to add a little stretch, but I, I can't really feel it if I'm being honest for you. And then also an eight ounce organic cotton flannel lining. So all in about 20 ounces, if you want to consider it uh, to be an additive fabric like that. Uh, makes for a pretty substantial garment. Uh, all right, so let's talk about the size real quick. So I got mine in a large. They call it a 42, which equates to a 46 and a half inch chest. Um, you know, sizing's always funny. You know, where do you get the 42 number if, if the chest is actually 46 and a half? Uh, anyways, my chest is about 44 inches. So I was a little wary of going for the medium, even though that's 44 and a half. And I think I made the right call, as you'll see in the fit videos later. Uh, it does have a, a slightly higher armholes uh, than, than an average relaxed fit, um, which is pretty common for Taylor Stitch products. So they do fit a little more tailored. Uh, not sure if Taylor, even though it's spelled differently, Taylor is spelled more like Taylor Swift. Uh, if that's a play on it being, you know, a Taylor, T-A-I-L-O-R. Uh, but now I'm just rambling. So uh, 218 bucks is fairly pricey for something like this, but the quality is undeniable. Um, I'm, I'm really impressed with the construction of this. I can't wait to put it through its paces. Also want to mention in regards with the price, this is made in China. So if that's something that bugs you, just keep that in mind. It does not bug me, as I always say. Quality is quality, regardless of who is uh, on the sewing machine. Okay, so that's it for the specs page. Let's go ahead and get into the close-up looks. Okay, I wanted to show off some up-close details here. Uh, of the line shop shirt in Cole Boss Duck. So you can see here, here's the fabric. Um, you know, the lighting's gonna play with this a little bit, but it is a fairly dark gray. This lighting's going off of it. You can see there's some of the detail close up. There's the buttons, not branded, but that's totally fine. The front pockets are buttoned through, as you can see there, pretty good size. And they do have on the inside as evidenced here by using uh, some of my daughter's pens. They do have four individual uh, pencil holders and you can still fit plenty in there. Now with a pen of this height, you can't shut it if you wanted to. So if you found a shorter pen, you could probably do that, but uh, there you have it. So let's check out the inside lining. So this is an eight ounce organic cotton flannel lining. It is quite soft, feels good. Feels fairly substantial. Okay, there it is. And then may not be able to see it here on the camera. Actually, yeah, I think we can. I think this is really cool, this little boss duck logo. So it says industrial hemp, spandex, organic cotton, recycled poly. So I don't think I've ever seen a logo or a label like that sewn on with uh, you know a piece of the outside. So it's kind of like a three-layered thing, which I think is a cool little touch. Um, you know, when you're paying a premium price for, for things, you expect little details like that would show, uh, you know, attention to detail. 
So as with all the Taylor Stitch products I've had, really nice stitching, feels really well put together and really substantial, you know, with extra, extra stitching where you need it to provide a little extra. And uh, yeah, okay, that's about it. All right, here we go with the fit videos. I'm going to start off here um, showing it off with a fairly monochromatic dark look. So that's a Brave Star Salvage heavyweight t-shirt underneath, uh, Brave Star Salvage denim. Uh, that was not planned, uh, along, of course, with the Taylor Stitch Line shop shirt. So uh, collar is pretty stiff. You can pop it up like that if you want. If it gets a little windy, uh, to give your neck a little extra protection. Uh, the sleeves, as you guys are used to, if uh, you've been around long, you know most sleeves are fairly long on me, given I'm 5'8 and a half, have fairly short arms, but these, these really aren't that bad. And since this doesn't have pockets, you're going to have to uh, tuck, your, tuck your hands into your jeans pockets if you want a little hand warming action like that. But, uh, you know, one of the things I like to do with shirts, even jackets sometimes, if it gets warm, is roll the sleeves. So I did a little sleeve roll test here. Uh, they are a little tight, as you can see there, but you can get them up close to your elbows. And it's just uh, it's just a very versatile garment. Uh, you can wear it in all sorts of different situations, I feel. Uh, on a really cold day, you could probably even wear this as a base layer if you had a, a pretty big coat, although your coat over the top would have to be pretty big. So, um, you know, here I am just showing off a little bit. At this point, the video is basically over. Um, Really appreciate you guys watching. If you have any questions, please let me know. I'd love to answer them. And again, this is just a quick look. I haven't really worn this and tested it out yet. My initial impressions are that it's very high quality. I like the fit. Um, as you see here, I probably will not be buttoning this up all the way like that. However, you could if you wanted to. So uh, yeah, that's it. Have a great day, everyone. Really appreciate you taking the time to watch. Please uh, like and subscribe.